Hello and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program 2. My name is WW Deadman, you already know that. Um, if I sound a little bit different than usual, that's because I currently still have COVID. Um, and that's also why this video is late. Because uh, I literally got sick the day that this... Uh, or actually two days before that they did this this update got launched but uh, yeah so uh, we have new uh, stuff we have a new campaign cuz we now have exploration mode which uh, means we can do um, we can do uh, missions to gain science and unlock new stuff so almost career but not yet fully career because uh, money system isn't in there yet but yeah it's, it's basically science mode which is already way better than anything we had before also the game um now works a whole lot better apparently so um can i match the blue of my flag that's kind of it right It should be fine. Game mode exploration, difficulty normal. We have re-entry heating now. Um, therefore, part overheating and everything is in there. Um, that's uh, definitely something we'll keep on. Uh, reverting and quick loading stays on because bugs. <laughs> that I, I don't think I'll ever turn off allow revert and allow allow quick load in uh, uh, in KSP ever um, exclude the stock vessels please because I do not care about the stock vessels and other than that I think we are fine oh yeah and the uh, probe signals uh, strength and, and like range is in there don't know if that was already in. Um, we're going to call this for science, like the update. Cadet orientation. I, I, I don't think I need... I, I don't think I need extra stuff other than the, the standard tutorials since those will just show up naturally anyway still. Uh, let's start into this and have a look how well it actually works. <laughs> now, uh, due to um, me still being sick this is probably gonna be a shorter video as well but I, I just couldn't like wait anymore to to play this there we go okay so we now have mission control open And our first mission is to launch a rocket, which just needs to go to 10 kilometers. So... Track mission? Really? Okay. I, I guess accepting the mission is... Put as tracking the mission? I don't know. I also don't think we need a mission briefing. I just want to see what it looks like, though. Ah, hi, Carrie. Uh huh. 
gotcha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Good freaking pun. Anyway, um... When the mission last objective is complete, come back here to submit your mission report. After a quick mission debrief from me, we'll turn your paperwork into sweet, sweet science. Okay, good. Gotcha. Good. That seems pretty easy to do. 10,000 meters isn't uh, a lot. Like, that's where we usually, uh, on like base KSP, started the gravity turn. I think that was a 10k. It's been a while. Uh, but yeah, um, our starting equipment is just a normal tin can Mark 1 crew capsule. Two different fuel uh, tanks. The swivel. Nicely enough, we start with the gimbaled engine. Uh, decoupler and stabilizer fins. And a parachute, obviously, because uh, we kind of need a parachute. Okay. Um, so, obviously, parachute goes right on there. Then we won't need anything else to land, so that can go off there. And honestly, I think this should be enough to get to 10k pretty easily. Um, I like that at least the um, controls for... Uh, Increasing and decreasing the symmetry mode still. Excuse me? Why? I don't know why, but uh, game just tapped out. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, engineer's report. We have thrust to weight of 5, 4.5, holy shit. Way too much. Uh, how much delta V? Does not have a heat shield. Yeah, well, we're not going to space, that's fine. Uh, trip planner? Launch vessel delta V 1.3. Okay, that should be easily enough to get to 10k. Um, yeah. Who's on board? Tim C. Kerman. I don't think so. Um, jab. Okay, and then we just uh, save this. Vehicle name. Um, first flight. Excuse me. And then we just launch. Seems fine. Uh, can we do crew, crew reports yet? Hey, crew, crew observation. Research inventory. Landed on Kerbin. 
We can transmit data, which I'm not gonna do because we have like literally no electric power. And oh, okay, good. We now have data that you can transmit and a part that uh, can be returned so we can still transmit the part that is transmissible. That's cool. We just put that over here for now. Um, also, it seems that we can just do another one without like emptying the, the thing, which is really useful. Can we resize this? Yeah. Better. Okay. Um, then I guess for now, SAS is on countdown go. Uh, we're not going to do full throttle. Like, this is easily enough. And while flying, we can do another one. Yeah. There you see out crew observation while in Kerbin's atmosphere. Now we're going to shoot over there because um, that's ground altitude, sea altitude. Do we have a way? Oh, yeah, there's our apoapsis. We just need an apoapsis of above, above 10. Should easily be doable. Perhaps it's of 11, we can literally just cut the engines. Um, don't know when, like, high above Kerbin starts in this, but I'm gonna try running another. Experiment for... Okay, that doesn't work there yet. Good, 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 good. But we have uh, successfully finished the mission. That's what the other message said. Okay, good. Uh, so basically, we can just um, get rid of this. Uh, hold retrograde. And then splash down down there. What I definitely want to do again in this, because it just seems a whole lot more viable, is the fully reusable space program once, like, mods for controlling different parts of the ship are available. But yeah, so far, game runs actually smoothly instead of, like, of slideshow that's very much appreciated ocean surface kind of looks like a solid from here though okay um, I think we can do triple time acceleration, get down a little bit faster. Uh, we're gonna do another crew observation 
So that's the crew report for Splashdown. Yep. Hey, uh, we have the flavor text again as well. There's no place like home. According to crew's assessment of the situation and... What was that? I, th I think I just saw a school of kittenfish. Uh-huh. Um, you can do an EVA, right? Yeah. Can I? Surface survey. Crew observation. Whatever. Um, then board back in. I don't know if the surface survey worked. Either way, we're just gonna... Um, a button for recovery on this screen would be nice. But I guess I can just click recover vessel from the menu. That's all of our science. Then we can go back to KSC and back into mission control for the debrief. Submit. Uh, thrilling work on the launch pad today. A reporter passed out because of all the excitement. Really? Could also have been the rocket fumes. Wow. Well then. Thanks, science. That that is a nice animation. I like that. Um, we can directly switch to the R&D center from here. That's very much appreciated. Um, and there we have our um, new tech tree. So this is what we had from the start. This is what we can unlock now. So we've got the Reliant, the LVT-30, a bigger fuel tank, radial decouplers, nose cone. And then we still have 27 left, so uh, we can get two more nodes. Solid boosters. Uh, that's the science, science junior. Oh, definitely getting that. I mean, that's definitely something I want to get eventually. Because, so I guess, reaction wheel, not really necessary not yet, don't need solids. That's probably a good idea. We have seven science left and can't really do anything anymore. But yeah. Uh, I guess these two are the next ones, and for now we can just send up a probe for the next thing if it needs to get, like, to space or something, so it can burn up and not be of any problem. Dude. Back to KSC uh, and look at the next mission. Out of the atmosphere, yeah. Um, we're definitely sending up uh, a probe for that. We're not doing the mission briefing this time. Uh, that's actually where the freaking... Then again, if I want to do this, that needs to also come back. Mm. 
Maybe we don't do a... Maybe we just do a science flight and then do a freaking... Uh, let's just shoot up a probe and uh, look for anything else after. Um, Don't have it, like any restrictions on money or, or parts or anything, so this should be absolutely fine. I still hate that uh, you need to middle click to go down instead of like, just take pressing shift for uh, changing the direction of the scroll. I'm never gonna get used to that. Swivel. How much delta V does this have? Five point five. That's easily enough to get to orbit. Three point nine thrust to weight. We're fine. Uh, you can make these a little bit like. Longer, right? Fine. We just need to launch this straight up, so this should be fine. We can also put these in the same thing. Uh, do we have like antennas? Done. Okay. Not going to even bother, like. Uh doing any sort of fancy gravity turn or anything, but just gonna st shoot this straight up and be done. Question, do you have any sort of... No. I like that this actually runs fine now, though. This is so much better.
yeah, kind of over-engineered. We could, like, soft land this. Yeah, uh, the, the whole thing of lack of sun exposure popping up up there is really annoying. Just saying. But yeah, we are out uh, of the atmosphere. We're in space, officially. And now let's see what the re-entry heating can do. That worked way too much. I can literally soft land this. Okay, re entry eating, not that scary. So engines still double as heat shields. That's good. Uh, let's get the mission. Next stuff is buoyancy test and orbit curbing, but we're not gonna do this this time anymore. We're just gonna uh, unlock some stuff and then, um, first and foremost, the survivability uh, solids, because why not? And I guess we're gonna also get the parts here, and then next time we can um, go on and get more stuff. For today, though, I'm gonna say this is it. I'll see you in the next video. Um, the next video will not be until I actually fully recover, because holy crap, it's incredibly draining to record while not uh, completely uh, fine. Anyway, uh, till then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WWD Deadman. Bye.